Pepper says, are you ready for the updated basement tour? I know I am. Hello everyone and welcome back to A Hoarder's Heart. For today, we're finally doing an updated basement tour. We have been decluttering all summer long. We've had a lot of tossy tossy piles and now it's finally time to share the update of how it looks. So when you first come down the stairs, you are going to be greeted by Miss Pepper. And this year we started in the front working our way towards the back. We have opened up this space immensely. In March 2024 is when we decided to come back into the basement to start decluttering about six weeks after my kidney surgery. We had did a video once a week clearing stuff away and we had bigger and bigger tossy tossy piles. And that's why we were able to start to make amazing progress and opening up a lot of space. So what we're looking at is the front left side of the basement. This side is bigger than the right side. This for now has been organized label bins. We've been funneling everything into those label bins so that we have this center part of the basement opened up. This is what this section looked like in April and in May. It was just a bunch of stuff that was churned. So we made sure that each and every week we were decluttering and putting things away. And these were all the tossy tossy piles that we had that helped keep this section clean. And over on the other side of the front of the basement, you have the stairs right over here. You have Hubby's workout station. And if you walk past this little shelving bin, you're gonna to come to where Peppy's litter box is and also the Christmas cave. And just recently we started organizing the Christmas bins, putting them right outside of the Christmas cave because unfortunately, if you go all the way in the back, there is a leak. Now we do have Easter right over here towards the front and we have some insulation falling that needs to be fixed. Right now it's kind of a mod podge of Christmas, Easter and Valentine's Day decor. And once we finally have a plumber come out to fix this back pipe where the leak is, we'll be able to take all of the holiday decor, reorganize it and get a lot of bins out of the way. And I must say that I'm pretty thankful that we got the front half of the basement cleared out. That way a plumber can come down here safely and be able to fix it. Now, of course, I'm gonna have to completely clear out everything in the Christmas cave so that he has room but I'm actually grateful that we're in this space. And when you come out of the Christmas cave, you come to see Hubby's workout station and you can look towards the back of the basement. Now, this is what this section looked like in May of 2024. There was a bunch of random miscellaneous things and we cleared it out. But now in August, I'm seeing this shelving unit. I think we should reorganize this and also clean off the steps. I keep having this clutter blindness that I have to clear out the landing of the stairs and also the staircase itself. There's little stuff going all the way down, literally on every single step, but it also really needs to be clean because those steps are very funky donkey. Now, when we start to walk past Hubby's workstation towards the middle of the basement, there's a section over here that we did not declutter. We kind of skipped over it and decluttered some of the stuff on the other side of it. Clearly the treadmill has a bunch of stuff on it that we're not using. And as we walk behind it, there's just random stuff everywhere. But there's also items that we've never gone through. Like this section right here, this very small section, we have never decluttered in any basement declutter over the years. So I think maybe when we come back from vacation, this is the area that we have to chip away at and clear out. Now across from that, we have all of the Christmas bins that do not fit in the back of the Christmas cave where the water is coming from. And that's okay having it stacked up here because once it's fixed, this will reopen up again. But before we put Christmas bins here, we had a lot of miscellaneous stuff all over the place. We also had a lot more tossy tossy piles going out each and every week. 
because the baby step decluttering is the only way that I know how to declutter as a recovering hoarder. Moving past those Christmas bins, we really opened up the center of this basement really, really well, especially where Miss Pepper is. Looks like she's hunting for something under that changing table. We cleared the space out. We started condensing all the baby toys over here because we had a lot of miscellaneous stuff again. We even had a Christmas in July special to try and clear out and make more room in this space. Now, this is the section we have been working on for the past month. There was a lot of miscellaneous stuff, some Christmas bins, a lot of craft supplies, bins that we had to go through. And we've been very busy chopping away at it each and every week. And each time I had this little pepper girl next to me being my little support kitty as we decluttered so many craft supplies. For me, this is huge in my recovery in hoarding. And seeing just how much open space there is in the middle just makes me feel so good on how much we've accomplished so far this year. Okay, so for the next sections that I'm going to show you. They're extremely emotional for me because I am battling the sensations and emotions of I feel extremely guilty about this. I'm feeling very ashamed of this. I am also trying to say it's okay. This is how you heal and recover through your disorder because you have to face the hardest challenges and look at yourself to be able to face your fear and face your demons and be like, it's okay. I had done this in the past. We're breaking these cycles, but we need to deal and face with it now. And that is this section right over here. And that is that there are more things that have been churned in the basement since we've officially were decluttering the back section, which would have been last year in 2023. The very, very last of the hoard that comes from an outside space has been brought into the basement so that we can go through it and finally be completely done. And we'll be going through it and I could tell we're gonna be going through it very quickly because I can already tell that a lot of it is trash. The other side uh, where the light is actually temporarily broken is the kids old play section. And the reason why that got a little hoarded, not a little hoarded again, was because when the boys were cleaning out and decluttering their rooms, one was on camera, the other is off camera. What had happened is they did actually declutter and get rid of stuff to take it out of the house. But many things that I saw got churned down here. And it just made me think, oh, okay. You know, like they have a mother who's a hoarder. They've seen her churn her entire life, the hoard. So now we'll definitely, before school starts, do that back section right there so that we can open that back up and actually follow through with the, we don't have to churn items from upstairs to downstairs was filled into a box and brought down here to make a decision later, which is no fault of their own, right? Again, these are all teachable moments. I mean, I got it, right? These are real emotions of a recovering hoarder. I feel extremely guilty showing you this. I'm feeling very vulnerable, but at the same time, if I don't show you this, how am I gonna show you what real hoarding disorder looks like? I'm never going to cure myself of hoarding disorder, right? I can't completely eradicate my mental disorder, but what I can do is change the daily behaviors and habits and patterns and tweak them to where I am making quicker decisions to let things go, not having such a tight grip onto things, being able to actually open up spaces and main Maintain it. That's where we start to see the change. Just let us process it. We're getting through it. Even me just showing you all this, I'm already starting to feel better that it's okay. We're almost there. We've almost beat this. We're doing amazing. And I just want you all to know that, yeah, sometimes we do backslide, but it's okay. 
because we have to look at how far we've came, how much progress we've made, and the fact that we've never given up and continuously moved forward. That is a victory in itself. And my hope, my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you to clean, declutter, and let something go in your home today too.